Now, is there a new digital player in digital FPV? So we've got DJI, we have Walksnail, we have HD0. Have you heard about OpenIPC? So recently, it's been around for a little while, but things look like they are heating up just a, a little bit. I'm gonna put this on the screen, a bit of a screen share. So OpenIPC, basically think of like an open source way that we as a community or the people working on this can build their own receiver and transmitter that can capture digital image transmission. So it's like, tr not, it's trying to do digital FPV. I think that's, I don't, I don't think I can summarize that any clearer than that. I don't know how well it is doing, but things are definitely heating up. Like I have not flown this, so I wanna make this very clear. I do think it's exciting. I think open source is, uh, is great. A lot of people can get involved and they have ideas and, and those things. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be better than DJI. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be better than Walksnail. It's just, but it's fantastic at the end of the day to have a lot of those options. Now I have a little video here prepared, but the music turned off. So this is from Mario FPV. He's been doing so much stuff when it comes to, um, and this was only done six days ago. So this is when it comes to open IPC. We're putting a whole bunch of videos and those sorts of things out anyway. Here he's talking about like the OSD integration and those sorts of things. And this is on iNav but you can you know, make it for other drones and, and beta flight. We could eventually possibly see these on our racing drones, which is really exciting, or at least on our freestyle drones. But here we go. And I have to say, it looks pretty cool. Now look, I'm not too sure what the real life applications are in terms of latency, in terms of recording. Remember, you are watching me stream this from Australia, watching a video that's been encoded by Mario, which has been uploaded. So this is like three degrees or looking at this through three different lenses. So we can't judge the quality too much but it's still, it looks pretty cool. And I think uh, the more players we have in the hobby, the more people that are opening things up for us to fly and other people to get involved in is fantastic. Not every open source project is a success, but there are some really good successes like the firmware we use all the time. Betaflight, fantastic. It's open source, it took some great things and I have a whole video on like the history of Betaflight and how we started with multi-Wii and smashing apart Nintendo controllers to get to where we are today. The more options we have for digital FPV is really exciting. I want to get everybody involved. And if we have a, enough people behind this, maybe it could develop into something. So I don't know what the future holds for this. I do plan to do some testing and some things with it. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm the know-it-all. I think um, Ian is probably one of the best people to, to check this out, maybe, or is other people with some like technical skills and they can find some latencies and you know we need a lot of, lot of different questions answered. As far as a user base of how does this go, what's it like, some things we can offer, I'm pretty excited, I must say. And to kick it off, look at this. We have here, now this came out. You might have seen this, you might not have seen it because only 2,000 people have seen this video. Uh, I got an email from Emacs and I'm excited to be doing some stuff. But look at this here. It looks like we have a solution which is relatively lightweight. So this could be an open source digital option, maybe to compete with CADEX, maybe to compete with, like with Walksnail, maybe to compete with HD0 and DJI. So that looks like it's the receiver right there. Remember, this is all very, very early days. Like you can see here, it's an alpha unit that they've got running. And plugging this in. Right there, I should freeze frame on that. You can see this right here is sort of what we're working with. We've got a old Emacs frame in the background. And this is when it starts to get really exciting. So if a manufacturer as large as Emacs is getting on board with something, maybe they can be offering their own alternatives here where, hey, you can get digital. They're going to do a, well, here we go. I don't know what happened in California there. It's a pretty short video, but um, they're going to be doing their own stuff. So he's moving his hand in front of the camera. You can see it. It's still very, very early days. Let me make that clear, but it is exciting. And I, for one, look, I love CADEX. They're probably my system. I fly more than other, more than any others. HT0, double thumbs up for what they're doing for the racing community. DJI, they offer, you know, really good stuff for pilots who want the best picture um, to have an open project like this which is going to be supported possibly in the future by some larger manufacturers. Like we want options as a community, as FPV pilots, this is where it's at. I don't want one really strong person dom or company dominating the market. It is not good for us. So I am more than happy 
to see projects like this take off some really good success. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of something. I can do this now because I'm. Can you break NDA after a company's gone bankrupt or, or disappeared? You, I would say a lot of people have never seen this. Let me know. I have a product here, which when DJI was releasing, DJI didn't go bankrupt, but uh, a lot of people may never have seen this product right here. Even when I bring it up to people, this is like a relic. I, I don't even know how many of these units exist in the world. But what I have right here, and I should really find more about this, so there's a bit of a history lesson. Let me jump over to my face. Man, the suspense. Did you know that, as well as having all those other ones, Omway actually had a digital solution? So that's it right here. So this is the, Omway is now disappeared. They don't exist anymore, which is a shame because they did, they, they saw the writing on the wall they were and they made some amazing commander goggles but when things started to move to digital i feel like omway couldn't keep up so they decided to move to digital as well and what i've got right here so this is the omway nexus v2 system and yeah this was their full like it's it's 1080p digital system i did fly this around um i was able to do a few tests on it and you know report back to them and offer them some advice however i was never able to I don't think I released the video, so I definitely wasn't allowed to release the video at the time anyway. So I might have shown some snippets here or there of it, but at the time I had to keep this under wraps for quite some time and reporting back. And unfortunately, this was a project that didn't make it. It didn't see it through. And I hope that doesn't happen to IPC or I hope an open source project like this, maybe if some other people like Emacs or people are making something on it can get off the ground enough and get enough user base and enough support where it's still financially viable because no one's going to make this at a loss right no one's going to a, a company needs to see some profits in this and i hope that we do get enough of a good product that people jump on board and they they enjoy that so yeah that's a little bit of secret nostalgia history uh right here with the omway nexus v2 that was like a digital solution this is like before cadex existed before walk snail system existed so this is right after dji came out there was also that option. And the latency wasn't terrible. It wasn't a terrible product. Uh, the one bad part for me is it actually, if it lost a frame or if it lost something, it would like completely freeze. So it'd be fine, 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 and then completely disappear. So that was uh, always a problem. And I think then it caught fire one time when I crashed. Not the unit itself, but the drone caught fire, which is you know, not, 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 a, not a plus.